Hello, I just thought I would uh, say hi <laughs> from the quarantine uh, room. So I don't know how this will go on because people keep sending messages, keep just trying to find out. So I thought I would say good morning. I'm doing very much okay. Uh, except a little bit tearing in my eyes. I think that's part of the COVID-19 uh, 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 concerns that end up coming up. Uh, but otherwise, I'm fine. Um, there's a lot of <laughs> concussions being made. So first, uh, everyone says drink a lot of onion. I don't know if you can see the onion the right there. And also, you put some of the onions by your bedside. Uh, apparently, the red onion is supposed to help to capture the gems. So this is the onion. And of course, before you eat anything, um, which I always do because I've been wanting to control my weight, but now it's more even uh, mandatory, if you may call it that, uh, having been positive with COVID-19, um, is the lemon just the lemons uh, in warm water. So that's that. And I think I would encourage you. It has been known that uh, lemons boost uh, uh, vitamin C. So please drink it every morning before you have any meal. So that is that. And then, uh, of course, the famous honey, which I'm sure many of you have heard about, is kind of finishing. Uh, Sherin, when I've seen you there, Sherin Masopelo, buy me some honey. So that honey is finishing. I need some honey. So that is that I'm taking as well. Um, honey has properties that will help your immune system. I think the biggest thing once you're found to be COVID-19 positive is to keep uh, positive spirits. Uh, I thank goodness that comes naturally for me. Uh, like I said, um, the cheering is a little bit of a problem. You can see... Um, the eyes even running by itself. So actually, I just woke up and told somebody to go and get me some um, wipes because of the tearing, which you can see coming in the eyes. Sorry, I'm going to use my scarf, but I have to wash it myself. It's just that someone has just run to get the the wipes and uh, so that we can be more sanitizing. Uh, in terms of medication... Uh, some doctor friends of mine were very kind uh, from YouTube to bring me this. Uh, they brought uh, 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 asthma. I I'm very bad with names. Okay, there it is. Astromycin, I think it's called. And that you advise to take one in the morning, two in the afternoon, and another one in the evening. So three times a day. So... That is what you advise to take, azrothromycin. Now you know that I couldn't have been a doctor. Okay, so that is that there. And then uh, also, um, there is this hydrochloroquine sulfate tablet. Uh, first, you take four. Once you are found to be uh, COVID-19 positive, sorry, I want to say HIV positive because that's what I'm used to. Apparently, viruses like me, but look, I'm not the one living in the virus. They are living in me. So I shall not die before I'm dead. I've always said in my life, it's not over until God says it's over. And this life, you have to take it by the, by the horn or by, uh, yeah, is it by the horn as they say? And you know, I'm Kasune, so I guess there's a lot of meaning to my name. So that is that on the medication part. There are only two of them uh, that I was given and that is um, hydrochloroquine sulfate tablet, which I took four yesterday. And today it will be two uh, for the next consecutive days. It can get very expensive because it's not just me who's actually found to be COVID positive. It was also my aunt. Uh, so, and I've quarantined everyone downstairs and I've taken their test. I hope they'll be negative because believe you me, 
just to maintain the supplements, it's something else. But I'm very fortunate, I have to say, uh, full of support, full of doctor friends, uh, full of just the love that everyone is showering uh, on me. Uh, I'm, I'm so grateful, not only in Zambia, but in the diaspora, Causeware, just <laughs> going off, um, uh, media stations, magazines, uh, uh, so I am humbled by that. Uh, maybe let me also speak to something that I hate. Someone says, oh, she just wants attention. She has been talking about being HIV positive for a long time. Now she wants to, to jump in and claim she's COVID-19 positive. My dear, I have lived with HIV for over 20 years because I've tried to take care of myself. First of all, I put my faith in front because without God, anyone can die from a very simple cause. You have heard of people just, um, you know, hitting a stone and they are gone, you know. So death really ultimately it's God who has the final say. But I think the final responsibility that we have is, first of all, any disease is to prevent HIV and AIDS prevented. It's real. I know when people look at me, they think I'm not HIV positive. Believe you me, uh, one day I'll come with my positive HIV results here. I don't know if that's what will make you believe, but you can go anywhere. You can go to UTH. You can go to Northwestern Hospital. Um, I am HIV positive since I lent my status in uh, 1997. OK, so there's no lying about it and there's no need for any attention. But what I always try to do in any situation is try to help other people take something serious, such as HIV and AIDS, so that they can prevent themselves from becoming infected. And if they are already infected as well, they can know that they can live with dignity and refuse to be disturbed to be stigmatized by anybody, but to live positively. So that is that on HIV. Now, coming to the coronavirus, uh, which uh, I have thought I've tried my best to the best of my ability um, to wear a mask wherever I came. Uh, but again, we all have lacks here and there. And then I am learning uh, that uh, actually when you wear a mask, you are more protecting the other people, then you are even protecting yourself. I don't know how true this is. I'll find out and get back to all of you. Um, so what is important, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, it is that we wear masks, all of us, all the time. Because it's through wearing those masks that not only do you prevent the other person who's coming or whom you're coming in contact with, you are also protecting them by you wearing a mask. Unfortunate in this country, Zambia, we are not wearing masks. Please, I am begging you. It doesn't matter whose pronouncement you hear. The general science is what needs to guide us now. Wear the mask. Mothers, let's ensure our children have masks. I've been in situations where someone has the mask in the pocket and they say, yeah, I've got the mask, but you have the mask. <laughs> it is in the pocket. Okay. You put it on. Uh, so please let's take care of ourselves. And, um, it is just so important so that we can all protect ourselves at the end of the day. There is no leader that is going to do that for you. It doesn't matter whether it's your councillor, your president, your MP. It is a personal responsibility. At some point, it gets down to personal responsibility. Of course, we want our leaders to be consistent. We want them to send the right messages. I feel that we relax the regulations or the guidelines very quickly uh, in Zambia when people are just beginning to. OK, and so and we have learned this, that in all countries where uh, health uh, uh, guidelines were relaxed very quickly, um, the sage of HIV, of um, um, COVID-19 uh, increased. Uh, it's happening in the US. It's happening in countries where they relax and now they're going back. So I think 
Zambia, we had so much time to learn, and it would be unfortunate if we find ourselves not learning the lessons from the other countries. Uh, so really, uh, I, I've talked about wearing masks, uh, definitely washing our hands. And you know, I come from a rural constituency, which I love dearly, Kembe constituency. And what hates you so much is that a lot of our rural areas don't even have running water. This is 2020. And then we say it so casually, oh, wash your hands, maybe in Lusaka. But my prayer, my hope for all of us who are in the city, let's avoid rural areas. Because if this COVID-19 get to rural areas, it will be very difficult to handle. Because most of our rural areas do not even have running water, even buying soap. Simple Ibu or Geza, I don't know, Geisha, uh, is very difficult. Uh, for some of our, our people, and it's scary. So let's do our best to avoid funerals in villages, to avoid going there, period, so that we do not take uh, the virus, uh, uh, which is a COVID-19 virus. I want to say that many of us may be walking around and we do not even know we are infected. That's the issue, because I didn't know anything. Uh, had I not been... Uh, planning to travel to see my, my first grandson, Prince Jaime, really, I'm so excited. Uh, maybe I would have been relaxed. I know we were given the opportunity at Parliament. I missed it the first day. So I went the next day to UTH. Uh, that was on Thursday, um, the 23rd of July. I went there around 11 a.m. I got tested and uh, I really felt good, apart from the fact that this side of my nose was feeling stuffy. But that is where they had put the plick as well. So I thought, well, it's because of the testing. And come yesterday, which was uh, July 25th, um, I was called to be told that I was actually uh, tested positive for COVID. Uh, so in short, there are a lot of people moving about who are asymptomatic uh, without any sign at all. And yet you do have COVID-19. So really... At the end of the day, let's follow all the guidelines that are out there. And I'll try to keep you posted. I, I'm staying positive. I am enjoying every call, every text message <laughs> that I'm getting. And just the prayers, really. Um, my home church has been great. Just praying for me, uh, Breakthrough Church. And um, please, let's avoid crowds if we can. And um, yeah, I'll try to keep you posted. And uh, just wishing other people who are struggling with this COVID-19, not only in Zambia, but around the world, uh, who are even more serious uh, um, conditions, uh, just a quick recovery. And uh, let's just take care of ourselves. For those who are not uh, yet COVID positive, please avoid it uh, to the best of your ability so that we can all cross over to a uh, God willing 2020 and many years to come, uh, with, uh, COVID, uh, uh, 19 behind us, but let's continue living positively. Let's continue to being the leaders that we are all caught to be. When I talk of leadership, I personally, I don't mean just politicians. I feel like I've always tried to to be a leader in my own way, in my own sphere, uh, before any title of leadership. I think many other times we only assert leadership uh, to those, especially in political office. Of course, they are more visible. Uh, they, the, it is more obvious, but I think to the church leaders, uh, rise up and uh, help your, your congregation, especially in Zambia. Christianity is so much that sometimes we go into it blindly. And so we are counting on you as men and women of God to say, look, this church is clouded or maybe still pray from home um, or come like this. Because I'm telling you, at the end of the day, we are putting a lot of stress on our health workers who are doing so much and they have to go home and take care of their families. Uh, I can only imagine what they go through every day because just knowing that I'm positive, you can imagine my family is uh, somewhere, I'm somewhere and if they bring food, they have to leave it on the door and they have to go and they have to wash their hands seriously and uh, they have to try and wear gloves and we are not meeting, they say hi uh, from the door. So it's a lot of stress on our health workers and you know in Zambia, our health system is already under stress and um, 
yeah, it's going to get more stressed out. So the best we can do is to try and prevent, um, uh, is to try and prevent, uh, this virus. So I, I can't read what you all are saying because I'm not wearing grasses. Someone, my or oh, my specs, because I wear specs, but I, I don't know where they are. Someone is saying, bring them on camera. Uh, what is that I should bring on camera now? <laughs> Maybe it's the, the tests. I will try to see if the doctors can send the tests uh, so that you can actually believe it. I think it's the right thing to do. When someone is found to be uh, COVID positive, uh, there should be a certification from the hospital. So I'll definitely get that. Uh, in terms of uh, me being HIV positive, I'll just show you the drugs I take. Uh, they have my name on it. So that way you will know that um, uh, it is serious. But ultimately, Zambians, there's no need for someone to lie, to lie about uh, being COVID positive. Uh, there's no need for someone to lie that they're HIV positive. There is no, I mean, what would be the point? Um, so I think we have to get to a place where we realize that uh, to be forewarned uh, is to be forearmed. Uh, and that's what I'm trying to do. At Yuko Alinsoke, Takwa Fuide Muntu. I think if I be Mbambo Bambai, At Yuko Alinsoke, Takwa Fuide Muntu. I think I've gotten my Bemba right. So, Ngoma Kaniayo, otherwise, Nobene Kembe. I know the Kembe people are so worried. <laughs> I feel for you. I really feel for you. Uh, I'll try to keep up uh, posting uh, and um, yeah, uh, hopefully that it keeps uh, being what it is. Uh, as I've said, it's just the tearing that I can feel in the eyes. You almost feel like there is some sandy feeling in the eyes. I guess that's part of the, um, the symptoms or small minor symptoms, I guess. And then the nose where they swabbed me uh, feels stuffy, as you can hear that. So... Other than that, uh, I am doing great. Uh, to God be the glory. And um, may the Lord help all of us, not just in Zambia. I see a lot of friends from the diaspora watching as well. I just want to say, please keep healthy, um, especially if you have underlying uh, conditions, uh, just like I am already HIV positive, but there are a lot of underlying conditions, ladies and gentlemen. It's not just HIV. There is diabetes. There is uh, cancer. There are all kinds of conditions out there. Uh, so I don't want you to come out of here and just scream bloody murder for people who are only HIV positive. That's not the point. Any underlying condition your immune system is already suppressed. It just makes things more, uh, you become more vulnerable, I guess. So I will try maybe to pick up even what I'm going to focus on uh, every morning if I can, uh, God willing. Uh, but I thought I would just use this moment uh, just to say, I love you all and uh, God uh, loves Zambia, loves the world. and oh, But ultimately, we have a human responsibility, and that is to live within our health guidelines. Uh, please don't follow politics. Uh, avoid crowds. Follow science and human uh, uh, health guidelines. That is the best thing you have for yourself. When you have done everything, then God can do the rest. Otherwise, um, yeah, I'm just so grateful for all the, the ways of encouragement and uh, yeah, just even the silly comments, they make you human as well. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, you know me, my background is in broadcasting. I can go on and on, um, but uh, I got to go. Um, I'm receiving a lot of love from family and friends. And of course, from you, all oh, my Facebook uh, fans, I guess my next book has to be written now. I hope I can... Uh, Take a stab at it while I'm in quarantine. As you can hear, the phones are already ringing. And this is only, I don't know what time this is, but the phones are already going off. People are just uh, checking on me. Uh, a lot of my colleagues, the members of parliament have been so sweet. Um, yeah, but ultimately, let's protect ourselves from COVID-19 and this shall pass as well. I have a saying, the same God of Israel is the same God of Zambia, is the same God of America. The same God of Abraham, 
Jacob and Isaac is the same God of each and every one of you and is the same God of princess. So until then, it's not over until God says it's over. So I'm keeping the good spirits and doing everything. Of course, a lot of vitamins. Uh, I don't know if you can see them. There you have it. A lot of them, um, honey and uh, many other things. Okay. Uh, we'll try to chat tomorrow. Love you guys. Take care of yourself and God continue to watch all over all of you and all of us, your families. And of course, indeed, uh, um, yeah, just to, to take care of yourselves and uh, to do everything you can to prevent uh, COVID-19 and isolate, isolate. Once you're found to be positive, I've told all my contacts, go into isolation I know it's very difficult, but we have to do it because it's more difficult when we get really sick on ourselves, on our beloved ones, on our families, on our friends, and indeed on the hospitals and uh, the coffers uh, of the country, which we are already struggling with. Okay, God bless you and um, may God continue to watch over Zambia, to continue watching over each and one of you and your families and uh, around the world. Uh, God bless you too. And Great thanks to all our health workers. A big shout out to the workers, not just the nurses, the doctors, the, the people in the labs, the, the cleaners for crying out loud. Can you imagine you being a cleaner and knowing that they are uh, wipes and tissues and things which are infected with COVID-19 and you have to go home on a very very uh, minimal salary that you can't even afford some of these vitamins we are talking about. So if not for ourselves, let's think of our health workers. Uh, my heart bleeds for the children who are back in school. Um, let's try to help them to wear masks, the teachers, I mean, the policemen. Um, it's, it's a lot of people at stake. Um, we'll talk more. Uh, I got to run, people. The phone is, is already started to ring, as you can hear. And um, a big shout out to my family who love me dearly, who think I'm the funnest thing on planet Earth. I try to laugh at life. That's the best I can do. Keep warm. It's very cold. And that is contributing as well. Bye. Ndaya mkwabo ndaya. Nobede kembe. Ndiwa kabo tu.